I think the media and food brands can influence us massively and actually as much to make the right choices as the wrong choices. I think there's an enormous amount of duping going on. Um, I think if you have a farmer holding a leek on something with some swishing trees blowing in the background, you're more likely to kind of think that the work's been done for you and overlook the fact that there's some nonsense in there. Um, but I think we've all got to be more responsible for ourselves. I think the government could do a lot more, um, just saying, um, lots of pictures everywhere saying your country needs you to eat less, maybe. Um, we don't cook anymore. Um, and I think that has a big problem in all of this and um, we've become totally dependent on other people making our food for us. We don't have any practicality. Food has become too cheap. Could you really make food more expensive to sort the problems out? Well, no, because then there's a lot of people at the very low end with no money who are getting hit harder than anybody else because the advertising is alluring and the food is very cheap and they're really um, getting unhealthy. So it's very, very complicated. We all need to be responsible, but the brands are making enough money. And well done that you made two billion pounds or whatever this year, but surely there should be something saying, actually, um, we'd like two million of that back, which you legally have to put into something to make people eat better. Because you shouldn't be allowed to make profits like that if you're putting nothing back at all. The more urban we become, the more we rely on people to make our food for us. Um, we can't go backwards. When I have travelled over the last two years, when I've been in Canada or the middle of Norway or wherever it's been, that where you have remote communities, they have a much stronger food culture. They look after their food, they don't waste stuff, they can't afford to, it depends on the weather and it depends how much of everything there is. The minute you come to a city, you can afford to throw food away. You should never be able to afford to throw food away. So I don't know what the answer is. I don't think we're cooking at all. I think we're cooking less, not cooking more. And this idea that we're having, you know, we've got all these recipes and books and television. Well, it's not getting people to cook in a way that's practical. We might do something special for our friends, but if we don't understand our food, how are we meant to look after the world, ourselves, our kids? And if you don't cook, you're totally at the mercy of all these people saying, we can make you healthy or we can make you enjoy this or we can do that. And we are at the mercy of all of these brands. Bake Off is about cake. We all know that cake isn't particularly healthy. Um, there's a lot of very fragile processes going on in this world. Beautiful things happening on the other side of the world where people live in a very hand-to-mouth way, but nonetheless, you know, use what they have around them. Um, these play things are being steamrolled by Starbucks and Krispy Kreme and McDonald's and stuff. So a bit of responsible, um, you know, maybe we still wouldn't do it, but at least more programs about showing that there's great common sense elsewhere in the world. Mm -hmm.